Hi guys, this is Aaron from Wine Cult, and welcome to another Bottle Breakdown. Now today we're talking about the 2019 Pinot Noir from Malat. Uh, but first, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you're already subscribed but haven't yet joined the club, check us out at joinwinecult.com. You'll get access to all the wines that we talk about on this channel. Plus, we'll be sending you new wines for you to explore every month. Uh, you can find the link to join our club in the video description below. This is 100% Austrian Pinot Noir grown on the south side of the Danube. Being grown on the banks of Europe's second longest river means the vines are growing down into river deposited soils with excellent drainage. This vintage was partial whole cluster and fermentation took place in stainless steel before being aged for 18 months in 1500 liter food rows. Michael Malat inherited the vineyard from his father, Gerald Malat, in 2010, who in turn <laughs> inherited it from his father, and so on and so on. Uh, but uh, no jokes aside, Michael is the 10th generation of winemakers in the Malat family. Now, the original vineyard was founded in 1722 in the small village of Furby Gottfig uh, in the wine growing region of Kremstal, uh, which is near, as I said, the Danube River. All of Kremstal is similarly influenced by the cold winds uh, from the north and the forests from the south, uh, which creates kind of a tug of war with a warm Pannonian climate from the east. Now, these grapes come from two vineyards in particular close to the Danube, which were flooding zones before the hydroelectric dams were installed in the area. And the result is, as I said, a very fertile topsoil with limestone cobbles and a mix of various gravels, which are phenomenal for drainage. Now, this is a really geographically interesting location to be growing Pinot Noir. Uh, most of the Danube region is dominated by Gruner, Vetliner, and Riesling, um, having generally a temperate climate uh, that edges down towards freezing in the winter really opens the door for also producing a very nice, delicate Pinot. Now, the choice to age in a large format of neutral French oak barrel really shows off how confident Michael was in the quality of this particular vintage. <clears throat> it just gushes with rugged alpine berries like blackberry, raspberry, uh, other flavors like black cassis, as well as earthy notes of bramble, forest floor, and smoke. Lots happening with this Pinot. So uh, lovers of Santa Maria Pinot Noir in California are really going to appreciate this. Um, the palate is fresh, uh, yet soft with really, really bright acidity. Uh, and it's super refreshing, honestly, with notes of crisp red fruits as well and pine-scented forest uh, really are softening a, a light tannic finish. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. Also, visit us at www.joinwinecult.com if you're interested in joining the club or being a part of one of our live tasting events. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time.